Welcome, gentlemen. This is the Goldstein Factory. We are the uh, largest manufacturer of catering and dishwashing equipment in Australia, and one of the last ones left. There are a couple of minor ones, but they don't have the range that we have, or, nor do I think the quality. <laughs> but uh, that is uh, another day for another debate. But this is where we do all the manufacturing and all the production and all the dispatch. Uh, we were two companies: it was Eswood the dishwashing, Goldstein the cooking. Uh, distributor and manufacturer. We now combine it under one roof to keep the cost down, to keep the reduction cost down so that we can give a better quality product to the end user. She will suss out the um, temperament and the character of the person coming through the door. She presses, there are two buttons down here, a red and a green. <laughs> if she thinks that you're sociable, she'll press the red. If she thinks that you're uh, a bit suspect, she'll press the <laughs> the, the opposite one, and you know, then, you'll be right. you believe and that. the management upstairs, and then yeah. we can send down the guys with the nets, just like the gladiators. <laughs> Round you up and dispose of you. Here's the, oh, the, the brains of the operation. Really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, look at it, it's robust, it's like a rhinoceros. This thing here is as solid as a rock. Um, it, it cooks by radiant heat. By that, the difference between radiant heat and uh, normal convection is if you've got an open flame, well that's just convection, what happens is that actually heats the air and have like a chalky or uh, type um, reflector brick. Uh, some of them are very narrow, the band that, that heats is very narrow, so constantly when you put your pan under you've got to be pretty sure that it's under the flame. Create some bar marking, I can do some bar marking on the, on the food product which, you know, appearance is everything in a restaurant, we eat with our eyes so they say. Um, 1.6 millimeter thick stainless. Now, with this oven here, as I said to you, the PS series range, small CI3B, which you saw out there on the floor, um, right through the underbench units, right up to all the pass through units, as you see there, right up to all the rack conveyors. And with the rack conveyors, it's POA, which is price and application because of the amount of uh, choices you have, whether you want a you know, 9 kilowatt dryer, 15 kilowatt dryer, pre wash, pre rinse, and, just, and the machine gets cooked. But if you want to pan work and sauce and all that, because you get a nice gentle heat. Mm -hmm. But if you want a real fierce flame, you want to put a big pot on, you take this off and you can put that right over the top and cook. Or hit the top of the European. They don't like the robust, you know, workhorse look of the PS series. And we've got this. We do the three series types of well. fries. We've got the tube fryer. We've got the V shaped fryer now that are on the market. The, the square box, the tube, and the V-shape. That V-shape would sit in the middle of these two as far as performance is concerned. The top performer would be the tube, next would be this VFG fryer, and the next would be this FRG. Um, with our opposition, this is one I was saying, that doesn't have a boiler tank, it's got a heat exchanger. Heat the core probe, it's self-washing. There are no moving arms on this. If you look at some of our opposition, they have moving arms, so consequently, they do eventually break. You do eventually have to uh, replace wheels them. On this. It's, this. This board is like an iPhone, so you just touch everything. It has pictograms. Chicken today, just come in, you press the picture of the chicken, press start, and it cooks the chicken. Um, you can also have this as, uh, as just a manual. It can run manual, easy cooking, it's called, or you can program it. You can get really in depth. So if you're you know, with Jamie Oliver and you really want to get into it, you can get into it with this machine. What's this world, Maria? Goldstein world. <laughs> this is the Goldstein uh, production facility. Fantastic. This is where we produce everything, good old Australian product. You know, versatile, strong, made for Australian conditions. And I, I mean, I'm serious when I say that, because we, we had a customer the other week who has got some imported fries from Europe. He's very dis I won't mention the brand because we don't sell like that, I don't. But he's very disappointed because they just don't maintain. You put the first batch of chips in, and, and this is a well-known restaurant, great. Second batch, good. Third batch, it completely dies. It just can't keep up with the recovery. Uh, different method of frying in Europe is this to Australia. We're more along the American lines. True. Mm -hmm. All right, so our, our, ours is for a high turnover, high quality production. Fantastic. Yeah. So all the rolls are dropped off here. It goes through a straightener. The rolls are obviously got to straighten the, the, the stainless out so that we can then work on it. And once it's straightened out, then we do things in batches. Uh, because what we produce is so varied, and if you look at the PF range, we do something like over 135 variations on this one range alone. We do a range, the ranges, for example, with the griddles on them. You can have a 300 wide griddle, 600, 900, 
whatever. You can have two burners with it, four burners, whatever. Uh, we normally have the griddle on the left. Some people come in and say, gee, can I have the griddle on the right? Yes. Oh, great, because the opposition can't do that. It comes from overseas. Mm. That's the way it is. All the parts are here, yeah. so we look after our own equipment. We have our own service department. We have about seven or eight vans on the road. We do, and which you'll see when we go through the testing section, every piece of equipment that is manufactured, and they'll put in a flat piece of stainless, and it'll come out like that, depending on what you're looking for. A dishwasher. Here, yeah, what happens to the guys? We have our own engineering department. Anything changes or anything needs to be done. The engineering department will handle that. Goes through the machine. This is a great machine to watch these two because they punch and punch. move and cut and, and do all that sort of stuff. That's so they'll put flat bits of sand in and they'll come out like that. Over there. This is what he's doing here. That's where they do the programming and program the machine into there. So it's working for a computer program. Telling the web to work and how to do it. What do spins around We do all the welding, it's all done by hand. We have welders here all day doing welding, so it's all done properly and by hand. Oh, yes, yeah. good job. Hand welding. Welds too. Various hot plates and stuff like that. They're yeah, polishing and uh, grinding here and pushing things up. Yeah. From the small underbench unit to the rack and bars. This is where you run up to the big ES220. That's the ES220 with the. Uh, yeah, and we add on to exhaust. that. So when you price one of them, you've got to come to us. It's a price and application because you can have blow dries, you can have um, you have pre washes, pre rinses. That's the This is something you'd have in a big restaurant or a club, you know, or a government facility or something of that nature. Here we're doing dishwashing. This is the dishwashing section. <laughs> That's the so the undercounter dishwashers. Undercounter yeah. dishwashers, yeah. That's good. It did change around a bit. Yeah. It's like the Arnott's factory. Today, boys, we're making Monte Carlos and ice vovos. <laughs> All right. Tomorrow it'll be Scotch salamander, fingers. Right? The best salamander on the market today. This salamander it really is. And I'll show you later on why. Electric fries. We do gas and electric. So just to think, that was a roll of stainless, look what it turned into. This is our testing bay, this is where everything gets tested. Now they're testing these units that are going out. Yeah. And up there they test all the gas equipment as well, everything gets tested. Oh, let's get adjusted. Very good. We fill up the gas pressure. Testing here. Priors, gas equipment, making sure it works properly before it gets installed. Good. That's all the nozzles. 100%. Very good. Yeah, get some pictures. Yep. Go for it. I think we were making, making rolls of plastic as well, didn't you? <laughs> Just to wrap this stuff up as it goes out. Bubble wrap. Always plenty available. You hardly ever have to wait much, you know. Only on items like wax, for example, and Little rack bit. and vase, because there's so many variations of different burners and yep. combinations. We can't keep them all, otherwise we need a, another place as big as this to keep them all. All the fryers here, ranges, fryers. <clears throat> wow, there's quite a few there for I've us to sell. Oliver, for quite a while when you first started, yeah. and I remember we went sat in the coffee shop at um, Bill and Tony's yeah. over at uh, um, Surrey Hills. I remember we sat there with the price book and all that, and we went through a few things, and look at him now. You were working for uh, Bevwiz at the time, that's right. Beautiful, man. 
Very good.